Okay, so Google just announced that they're going to be bringing lock screen widgets to mobile devices in an upcoming Android update. On a recent blog post, um, they mentioned this little tidbit right here. Under, when will lock screen widgets be available? The answer, lock screen widgets will be available in AOSP, or the Android Open Source Project, for tablets and mobile, starting with the release after Android 16, um, in parentheses QPR1. That release will be scheduled to be pushed to AOSP in late summer 2025, and there's already a note that lock screen widgets are available right now on the Pixel tablet, starting with the um, Android 15 QPR1 release. So that's already available, you can see right here for tablets. But what does it look like for mobile devices, for phones? Well, I have the feature working right here, so I can give you a quick little sneak peek. Um, the way it's going to work will be a little bit different than on tablets. Um, you'll be able to access it instead of by swiping right on the lock screen, at least for now, um, it's tied to the screensaver feature. So if you enable the screensaver, and then you dock your phone or you charge it. Um, right now I'm gonna be mimicking the charging state. So it's not, the phone's not actually charging, but when I press a power button, while the phone is being fake charged, it'll enter the new glanceable hub on mobile devices. So this is what it looks like. I have a video playing with a media player in the background. I can swipe between pages to see my widgets. And then you can see at the bottom right, there's a little button right here. Tapping this should re-enter the screensaver. And indeed, this is the clock screensaver that I just entered by tapping that little button. So when I exit the screensaver by pressing the power button, that's the lock screen, it just goes back into the hub. And if I want to go back to the regular lock screen, I just got to swipe this way. Um, right now, I can't swipe back to the page by doing that like you can on tablets. But if you just press the power button, actually, there you go. It's not perfect right now because this is going to be a feature releasing in QPR1, um, which should be sometime September. But you can see it clearly works, you know. So that's it. Hopefully, they'll refine the feature. Maybe they'll add a way to swipe between pages like that. But it seems like it's going to work pretty well. Like, it already works pretty well right here. Everything's kind of scaled properly. Nothing's cut off. You know, I can add widgets by just pressing and holding and then um, unlocking. And then I can add widgets at any time by tapping the Add Widget button. And I can also remove widgets by long pressing them, resize them, remove, long press rearrange, you know, a little buggy transition there, but that's it.